Hello, my friends. Today we will discuss lines of Zan. My name is Sameh Mikhail, and I'm a pathology resident. This is the Pathway channel. Please like and subscribe. We will start first by the thrombi, and to know that the thrombi can develop anywhere in the cardiovascular system, we have two types of thrombi. It can be arterial and it can be venous. Arterial thrombi usually starts at sites of turbulence or endothelial injury, while the venous thrombi are formed at sites of stasis. Thrombi are attached to the underlying vascular surface and they tend to grow. Both venous and arterial thrombi, they grow towards the heart. So the venous thrombi will grow with the blood flow direction, while the arterial one will grow retrograde. Thrombi are prone to fragmentation and embolization. And for lines of Zan, they are laminations that appear microscopically and even grossly. And they are composed of layers of pale platelets and fibrin alternating with darker red cell layers. Such laminations signify that thrombus has formed in flowing blood. So their presence can distinguish or can uh, prove that this uh, clot is an anti-mortem one and their absence will be in the post-mortem clots. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like and subscribe and let's go see these findings on the microscopic slide. Hello my friends. So this slide is the uh, slide of a lung tissue that shows thromboembolism and I will start first by the lung tissue. Um, as you can see here in this slide, we have the alveolar spaces. They are dilated and they have some destruction in their walls. And this indicates that this lung has a kind of emphysema, mostly the centrilobular. This uh, is a blood vessel and it's totally occluded by this uh, thrombus. And from the uh, low power, we can see that this thrombus has two uh, tones of colors. So we have the pale and this uh, dark red, which are the RBCs, and the pale one is the fibrin or uh, the platelets. So these are kind of two layers that we describe on the, our uh, PowerPoint presentation, and they represent the lines of Zan. Um, let's go at high power and see them. So this is the high uh, power. I'm just, uh, I'll just adjust the field. So from the high power here, we can see again the two tones. So this is first the blood vessel, and it's completely occluded by this thrombus. This area is the fibrin, and this area is the red blood cells. So we have two layers uh, of uh, platelets, fibrin, and then RBCs. And these represents a line of Zan, uh, which indicates that this thrombus happened anti-mortem, not post-mortem. And this section is taken from a lung tissue from an autopsy. Uh, again here, this is uh, on high power, the lung tissue. And as we can see, again, the alveoli are dilated. Uh, so we have a background of emphysema. Thank you so much for watching.